I have been completely distracted. Bruh. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, that I did attempt to do that. <laughs> So I'm trying to buy, because your girl forgot that we're playing Resident Evil on Wednesday. So I forgot to buy the game. So I'm currently trying to buy it on a website that has, like, a little cheaper. Guests immediately distracted. Because I had a website, I had a, I had a text message from my bank. Like, hey, your card was declined for fraud. And I'm like, No. Incorrect. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. So I'm buying Resident Evil right now. Because I need to download it tomorrow. Okay, you don't like that card? Fine. Fuck that. Alright. What's that me? <laughs> oh god, I hope y'all are well. Also, thank you for the compliments on the shirt. It, in my froggy shirt. I figured, because like, I don't know, this game is like a little witchy. Got that little vibe going. I figured the shirt would be appropriate. Yeah, I did not wear the shirt for advising today. I did not need my one student being a dick. Um, he was not a dick to me today. Um, he was pleasant. Hey, we got it. Yay. Perfect. Great. Um, let's see. Um, no. Where's my order? I would like my order, please. Uh, would you have a rat familiar? I think I would have a rat familiar. Either that or a little hollow, uh, a little hollow Connor on my desk. I mean, technically we're gonna have a little hollow nines at some point. Um. Yeah, I would like to retrieve my purchase, please. Plus. We're out, though. I want my Steam key. Jesse, thank you for the check and appreciate you. Um, I'm just... The plot is yours, Gray. I know, right? The product platform region quantities card before clicking get code. Okay, so this is worldwide Steam. PC, yeah. How to activate my code? Oh, pfft. let's look at the Steam instructions. Activate product. Give me. And you know what? I treated myself. I got the deluxe edition. <laughs> I got the deluxe edition of RE4. <laughs> I treated myself. Hope y'all are ready for that on Wednesday. Uh, this might be a good idea to good time to plug the rest of the schedule for the week. Um, hey Sam, welcome on in. Happy to see you. Um, so the rest of the schedule moving forward for this week on Wednesday, like I said, we are going to be attempting the RE4 remake. Attempting, I say, because who the fuck knows how that's going to blow over. Um, Thursday is going to be the finale of our reversal run of As Dusk Falls, where we're making all the opposite choices from our first run. Sunday should be Hades. Should be. Thanks for the tip. See? Oh, Susie! Susie! Not much I wanted as I wanted to be by Livy, but see, appreciate you. Oh, Susie, thank you for the tip. Thank you. Appreciate it. I give you a boop. Thank you, Susie. I very much appreciate it. Um, if anyone else would like to, to tip on Kofi, you're more than welcome to. The goal is still up there, but um, we're not doing anything towards the goal at the moment. That was just like a Thursday one-off thing. Um, I will get to scheduling. I, I know I, I know we reached the goal for the movie night, but like I will have to schedule that. Oh, God, that might have to be an after con. Or right, No. I can make bracelets during it. I'll, I'll figure out my schedule sometime. Today was just a nightmare at work. Today was just... I was home. 
and it was just bad. It, it was just, I had so many emails and I had so many students respond to those emails and it was just, it was not fun. It was not a fun day. Not a fun day. Wordy, I appreciate the check-in. Thank you, thank you. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Schedule. Uh, so Sunday should hopefully be Hades if I actually have time to do the grindy grinds off stream, which I have a feeling probably not, but we'll see. We'll keep it there for now. And then Monday, we're going to be starting Candleman, the complete journey. Again, gifted to me by Kulk Witsia herself. Uh, so that should be fun. It's a little cute little puzzle game involving you as a candle. And I think that's really cute. Um, Tears of the Kingdom has indeed taken my soul, and I'm very sad about it. <laughs> I'm like, why? I need to do other things, please. <laughs> but I hope y'all are well. I appreciate you all being here. Um, we are going to be playing some more Wild Flowers today, and I'm very excited, too. That's not where I wanted to go. What? Oh. No notification there? Okay. That's interesting. All right, cool. Little candle game sounds adorable. I know, right? I'm very excited to give it a go. I saw a little bit of candle game uh, when Colk's friend was streaming it on YouTube. Um, so I'm excited to, like, check it out a little bit more in-depthly and see what happens from there. Um, so, again, thank you, Cole, for gifting it to me. Um, we're going to dive into wildflowers here i did not open steam until like two minutes before stream started <laughs> uh so we're doing great we're doing fantastic right now it's great it's fantastic um let me boot us over here i still have an avi behind me um i've been playing a lot of tears of the kingdom during my lunch and dinner breaks I, I needed it, honestly. I needed it so bad. It, it's what literally got me through work today. I was like, 12 o'clock, I can play Zelda. 12 o'clock, I can play Zelda. Um, okay, game. It'll be cool if you showed up. Thank you! Amazing. Sorry, I don't mean to, I'm not tired. I'm not bored. I am just, I don't even know what anymore. Great, there's a croc in the rain. Me make it suffer. <laughs> you, okay, you kind of have, like, every right to be, like, mad at the crocs because, like, you had to deal with them during Breath of the Wild where I did not. So, like, you kind of have a right to be, like, salty at these little shitheads, but, like, I'm enjoying their presence, and I will enjoy them on your behalf. <laughs> um, but anyway, game recap? Game recap. Um... So we are playing as a young lady named Tara Wild, um, who is on this island. I forget what the fuck this island is called. I always forget what the fuck this island is called. Um, we're on this island and we're here to help our grandmother who is fallen ill. Um, we don't know what's caused her illness right now. Um, but like grandma's kind of on the boat of like, I don't want to be, like, next to tubes the entire- tubes the entire life to keep me, like, alive. Like, I'll go, like, if it's God's will, essentially, without actually saying God's will. Um, and we're like, oh no, but okay, okay, whatever, bye. And then we also figure out that, like, we're a witch, and our grandmother's a witch. So we have witch powers now, and I don't know how, like, how we're supposed to be using these witch powers to do anything, but okay, whatever. Um, the mayor has made us do shit because capitalism, right? Um, and we have some long-form quests that we have to complete. So that's kind of where we're at. And we just got access to the mine, like, right before stream ended, um, last week. So, yo, your girl's excited. Um, I love mining in games. It's so much fun. Honestly, the best part of Tears of the Kingdom is just picking up shit. Love it. Love it so much. Um, all right. So let's continue here. I forget exactly what quest we have to do. I know we have to like, so, okay, that's inventory. Hello. She's still farming in this outfit. Gary the Gray. <laughs> Hi, Mew. How are you? Good to see you. 
Capitalism even in a town with four people. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, brew a spirit flame potion for the summer ritual, which is going to take some time, and then give a ranch hand. So, we have to collect all of this material, which is going to take us, like, a hot fucking minute. And we also have, like, these other, like, little side quest things that, is, that we could pick up. It's kind of like Stardew in that sense, where, like, the bulletin in the town square kind of has, like, oh, like, you could take on, like, different things from different areas. Um, so, that's kind of, like, what it is. <laughs> Shulk. Shulk, I think, is my new favorite one for Kolk. Oh, yes, and we love Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, but yes, we do talk about Bruno. Okay, so we have no energy. Uh, I, oh, yeah, this is where I remember we left off. I was like, oh, my God, we have no energy to do, like, literally anything. This is great. Fantastic. Um, all right, let's 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 take a walk about. Let, let's look around a little bit. Um, let's get our bearings to see what we're doing here. So that's what I mean by, like, these are two, like, long con quests because the summer ritual requires you to like do certain to have certain things along with like the stuff you need to build the ranch because we're kind of a little brokey broke right now no don't chop that down sweetie you're gonna hurt yourself you're gonna pass out <sighs> i promise i'm not bored I might have to listen to the Tears of the Kingdom soundtrack on my way to work tomorrow. I might have to do that. The opening music is kind of stuck in my brain at the moment. I really hate how far down I've gone down to trap it. Only if it's on Spotify. If it's on Spotify, I will. If it's not on Spotify, then I can't. Or I refuse, actually. Oh, hello, game. Why do we stutter? Just tired? Understandable. Yeah, I had a really long day at work today. I was working remote and I had like so many goddamn emails I had to send. It was gross. Is it really farming game if you can't pass out randomly in the middle of the woods? Okay, wordy, that's actually really fucking fair. Okay, wait, wait, let me talk to you. Why is my game stuttering? Why? Why? Okay, um, could I sell things? Yeah, let me sell some shit. Okay, um,. sell some shit. This Nintendo might be a nope then. Mmm, true. Hey! We can now purchase them dim quickets. I had one goddamn appointment with a social worker and I was so worn out after I, that I napped a total of five hours or something just quickly watched Baboon in between. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I have my first therapy appointment tomorrow. Which is... I am a little scared, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, five hour... I've never had a five hour nap, I don't think. At that point, I would just sleep. Just sleep until the next- <gasps> Kitty! Did I pet you yet? I don't know. I don't remember. I remember nothing. Let me love on you, though. Just in oh, case. Oh, what a good girl. Yeah, it's my intake. And hopefully they don't take, like, a gajillion dollars out of my bank account. If they do, I'm gonna be really fucking salty. Because my insurance should cover it. I mean, I had a talk with the, an insurance rep. And it should be, like- I should only have to pay copay for, like, unlimited visits, which is just, like, weird. It's like, yeah, but I don't want to be forking over $100 a month for therapy. So, like, let's start with 50 and see where that takes us. Um, yeah, like, it's been something I've been meaning to do, like, get back into once I got a full-time job. Um, to, like, go back to therapy. Because I did therapy in college with my university. Um, but, like... It's more, it's not so much to get over, like, anything traumatic or, like, um, not, like, where my, like, I have, like, really shit mental health, but it's, like, I just need coping me mechanism. Like, if I do have ADHD, like, I need coping mechanisms for it. Alright. Gib. Mm 
Oh, there's a message in the bottle, but I want fish. Give me fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me fish. Also, excuse my incompetence in expressing myself in English. I'm apparently overly blunt when I'm tired. No, you're okay. You're okay. You're completely fine. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm really, like, the place is close enough that I could go in person if I really wanted to, to the location. Um, like, it's right down the road on the highway. Like, I'm literally coming home from work to then sit on a Zoom call, I think, for an hour. Um, oh god, I want to get the crab. I want to get the crab. Look how cute the crab is. I love you. But, like, I'm opting for virtual for the time being until, like, I decide, like, if I want to go virtually or not. Okay, wait, we want the crustacean. I want the crustacean because we need, we need the crawfish. No, I want the crustacean. Crustacean station, bros. Broskies. Bet. I'm trying not to be, but apparently not very successful. That's fair. Oh, I got a squid. Okay. I guess that's fine. I guess this is fine. Okay, another crustacean. I would like the crustacean, please. No. Also, people oftentimes forget I'm not a native English speaker. I know what I forget that because, like, your English is just really, really good. Oh, wow. I mean, granted, like, I'll, I'm, probably a lot of my students are probably not native English speakers. But, like, they're the ones who craft the most beautifully written emails. And then, like, my native English students are like, sup, K. And I'm like, stop using text lingo in an email to your academic advisor. And it, ah, uh, so frustrating. So frustrating. Like, I'm like, Y'all, y'all, like, I know I'm your advisor, but, like, just, just a tad bit of etiquette. That's all I ask. That's all I ask for. Don't send me three emails back to back to back within, like, a span of three minutes. Please don't do that. Just, 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 uh. Oh, pretty fish? What are you? Oh, mackerel. Okay. Oh, wait, I ran into a rock. No, I'm excited to see how it goes tomorrow. Um, I have no idea where the fuck. Ooh, wait, let me fish from up here. Hold on, let me fish from up here first. Hold on, wait a second. Wait a second here. Give me the crustacean. Ooh. In my grad school email change, you'd see entire messages with no punctuation. Oh no! Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's a tad terrifying. I mean, like, is it between you and, like, a professor? Or is it between, like, student to student? Because, like, student to student makes more sense. Um, super easy to forget when people use English a lot and manage to be quite fluent. And then the difference usually shows in the more detailed level. For example, when words you choose in expressing yourself. Yeah, or, like, or like um, not... I don't say not understanding, but, like, different cultures have different, like, idioms and expressions. So, like, I, I think my coworker is, um, Arab, Arab, but she grew up in Russia and is now living in America, obviously, because we're coworkers. Um, but, like, she'll sometimes mix up, like, our idioms because, like, that's not, like, English is, like, her third language or something. Um, so she'll sometimes, like, mi mix up the idioms or something. Um, like, so, like, they, like, don't meow up the wrong branch, or don't meow up the wrong branch or something like that, instead of don't bark up the wrong tree, um, as an example. Um, Julia told me you said hello to her. Thank you. That girl is so shy. Well, teenagers have a lot going through their heads. It's no wonder some of them deal by just not talking. Don't call me out, Tara. Don't do that. 
Her father passing so unexpectedly hasn't helped. Okay, bye, Sophia. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, I can't pick the bloobs, the bloobs yet. <sighs> Department-wide email chain. So people would be directly speaking to the department head with run-on sentences. Oh, oh. Why is this kid on this ranch? What are you doing here, bruh? So you came here to take care of your grandma? That's Oh really my god, nice. I'm twinning with the kid! He has a froggy shirt and I have a froggy shirt! Yo. High five, kid. Up top. We twinning. We're besties now. <laughs> Thought about totally today finally gathering up the courage and doing doing going to the doctor to talk about my mental health it's not going to happen immediately i just need to work myself getting out of the house you can do it susie you can do it i believe in you ryland will hold your hand as needed and miri will hold the other one as needed um so long as you let him play with your socks afterwards you sound or give him chocolate, one or the other it's just that it's less fun to prank people who are really nice True. I could try being less nice. Tara, no, don't do this. Thanks, but that's okay. Emmy and I already have lots of people to prank. Oh, Coke, appreciate you. <sighs> yeah, I haven't gotten a Zoom link for the appointment tomorrow, so I'm just like a little bit nervous. Like, I would like a Zoom linky, please. Thank ya. I would like to know how we are conducting this appointment. Well, we said virtual, I believe, in my initial email. Hello? Bye! Okay. I was gonna get more fish and tackle, but I think it's closed. Are you open on Sundays? Let's see. Ooh! Baker dude! And Bruno! Ah, oh, fuck! You're open at the most worst hours. I think Lena's kids must have messed with the doors of the schoolhouse. She sure was at a temper last night. Was muttering something about the locks. I'm just talking to random people because I can at this point. <gasps> wife! Sorry, sorry, gay baker. I need to speak to wife. Wife is more important. Oh man, I can't speak to wife. Wife has already been spoken to today. I love his freckles. Have you met I my guess. boo yet? His shop is right next door. My boo! What a cutie. That is so nice. You must never get sick of each other, since you live and work so close together. <laughs> nope. Why, did he say something like that? I mean, Francis does like his quiet time. Oh, oh Angus and I, what are we, friends now? Are we friends now? Hold on, wait a second. That was insane. Hi, child. Mom says you two were friends when you were little. Well, Lena was older, so she kind of used to babysit me. Angus is your favorite character. Oh, Wordy, you've played this? Ooh, I want to know your thoughts. Oh, like Julia does with us. It's not a bad hustle. Not a she bad gets hustle? Paid to play with us. Not a bad hustle. I mean, you're not wrong, kid. It's not a bad hustle. Okay. Let's go check the farm. Let's go see if we have to do anything on the farm. Oh, that's your friend play. Ooh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, I really like Angus. He's pretty cool and gay, so that always makes everything better. There probably isn't much for me to do over here. I mean, I could chop down some trees. Could do that. Or get what? Get some rocks? 
Because I need four planks of wood, 80 stone, and then I, I almost have the other ones. So I think, like, right now it's just going to be a lot of wood. 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 Ooh! Weed. Thank you. Fuck yeah, D deforestation! Woo! Yeah, I don't want to get rid of this tree, though. Oh, wait, I don't think we can mine the bigger, uh, chop down the bigger trees, because they're big. Big. Well, let's go up the hill a little bit. Let's see what's over here. If there's any trees over here I could take care of. No. I wonder when we can get this taken care of, though. I really want to get that taken care of because I really want to go over there. Like, we got the mine all sorted. Now I want to go over there. I want to go explore. Ah. Alright, um... Alright, yeah, let's remove our- let's use our remaining energy to get the rest of these boulders. <laughs> Alright. Three stone is enough for me. <laughs> okay, so let's- hold on. So you need mortar and pestle and distillery to make all the ingredients, okay. So let's see. We have mortar and pestle, but we need also a distillery. So we need one copper ingot, which we do not have yet, to make all the things we need. Tell me, honeybee, does Arthur mind that you left your job in the city to come help me? Who's Arthur? Arthur Morgan? The Amazing Cowboy of the West? Well, I didn't really leave my job. My job left me. Our site got acquired, but the new parent company just wanted our subscriber list, not our editors. Oh, so she was like a marketing rep. Interesting, or like a journalist. Maybe Dad wishes I was using my degree in a new job in the city. But then who would help you here? He's not going to come do farm work. Oh, Arthur's the dad. Okay, so Arthur's the in-between here. Okay, okay. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> That's for certain. Your father has the blackest thumb I've ever known. Even when he was a boy. Oh, we were sad when he left. But the garden sure wasn't. Okay, it's 7 p.m. It's bedtime. Good night. Goodbye. Oh, wait, let me see. Um, can I cook anything? Ooh, I can make fish stew. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, and I can make some mushroom risotto. Okay. I'm done cooking. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Is it time for bed? Yeah, there's nothing else we can do at this point now. Go to sleep in those shoes and all. Also, one other thing I failed to note, I think, from last week. Honeybee, can we chat for a moment before you go out for the day? Sure, Grandma. Hold on, let's get this cutscene happen. I want you to know I've left you the farm in my will. Grandma, please, don't make me cry. I already spoke to Arthur about it, and he understands farm life was never for him. I don't want you to feel obliged if you'd rather return to your old life in the city. Well, that would make the game end really fast. A bit heavy, Grandma. We just woke up! But tell me, do you want to stay on after I'm gone? These games always give us feelings. Yeah, I... There was, like, one scene at the beginning of Legend of Zelda that made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> of course I want to stay, Grandma. Oh, that's wonderful. 
<laughs> I knew you would love it here. I'm glad that's settled then. I'll have Otto finish the paperwork. Ma'am, why are you just wandering into our house? Morning. Brought you some groceries. Oh, let me get you some money. Oh, milk and six eggs. Love to see it. Oh, don't you dare. It's the least Parker and I could do. There's a cutscene at the beginning of Breath of the Wild that makes me cry. <laughs> It's probably the same one, Susie, right? <laughs> Thank you, Lena, dear. You will look after Terra for me, won't you? Doorlocks don't exist in this universe, yeah, for I've real. I've done what I can to get her ready to take my place here, but she'll need a guiding hand. I will. Well, I better let you rest. Give my love to Marcus when you see him. Ma'am, it is 7 a.m. on this bright Sunday morning, and you're hitting me with with the, with the with these sad vibes here. I don't appreciate it. All right. Need my dirt. Wait, let's let's put in. Yeah, I think the one thing I like about this game- or one of the things I like about this game is that being a witch means you control the season. So, if you want to spend 28 billion years in spring, you can do that. <laughs> you don't have to change the season right away. S sad vibes is all she has. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. That's fair. That's fair. It's very fair wordy. <laughs> I mean, I choose to stay inside all day. And I have the time of my life because I have a gajillion video games that I need to play. <laughs> Alright, let's see. My daily gardening out here, aka picking the weeds. It's a bit windy today. Windy. Ooh! Thank you for some thistle. All right, let's go down to the beach. Hi, child. I remember one time as a kid, I was so excited to go outside and just play with my friends. And this was about probably I was like 12, 13. I, or maybe I was 11, I don't remember. Oh, that's where you live. Nice that you live by the beach, cool. Uh, bro, what are you doing here? Hola. Hey, new girl, how's farm life treating you so far? Hi wifey, bye wifey. I'm still figuring everything out. Well, let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm. I run the jewelry shop, but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels, you know? Crafting beautiful pieces is one thing, but sourcing the stones is tough. I'll let you know. Well, it is open. Dude, it's open. Why didn't we just tell him it's open? It's open! It's open! It's open! Hi, wifey. I'm gonna let you get to work because you're probably late or going to be late. I don't know. I don't know the hours of your shop. When do you open? Oh, you're closed on Sundays. Okay, fine then. When are you open? Man, everyone has like the longest hours for when they're open. It's so weird. Okay, fine. I guess this is time. We're gonna go mining in the caves. With whatever food I have with me. Hides an introvert. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk to people. Sorry. Ooh, mushroom. Give. Give. Thank you. Alright, let's go mine in these caves. Hmm. <laughs> 
don't have a key for it. Yeah, we don't have a key for it. Okay. Also, I was so prepared to th start throwing these barrels like you would in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Zelda has changed me. It's fine. Um... Okay, we're gonna eat food. Close, I just want the key. Where is key? I need a shovel for digging those up. Let's see what's around here that I can just yoink. Ooh, this is a larger area. Much larger area. I can't tell if the areas get larger the further we go down, or if it's just depending on the, like, randomness. Ooh, what's mine this? But let me... <laughs> nice, we got some s fine sand. <laughs> See how long is it takes us to find the next key. Hopefully not terribly long. Knowing that it's random generated. <laughs> feeling dead tired but not actually sleeping oh no mew oh that sucks yeah like you're tight you're so tired that you're actually like hyper or not excited yeah or not sleepy that's so that sucks i'm sorry Okay, I'm not trusting myself. Because I don't think, yeah. I don't think I have enough energy to, like... I don't have enough food on me. What is my... No, let's speed this up a little bit. Well, hopefully you could feel relaxed enough and your body will just go to sleepy time soon, Mew. You deserve all the sleeps. Oh yeah, it's windy. Windy in the town today. Oh. Appreciate you, Mew.
So, how are your parents? Oh, um, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Doll. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. Where the fuck is Milkwater? I thought I was Milwaukee. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? Audio strangely cut out there. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. You weren't there before. Who the fuck are you? I have a feeling. Okay, so this is me speculating now. I have a feeling like the people who come and like check in on on uh, Grandmama are the people in the coven. So the doctor, I think. I think Le Lena is one of them. I'm not sure about the other ones. Or who else it would be. Can I hop over this? No? That sucks. I've been meeting, I've been meeting, meeting this one psychologist for three years, and today, when meeting the social worker, it came clear that the psychologist has failed to write anything official down about me for all of her appears to read the whole time. What? Are you serious? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I was like, you're not even doing your job at that point, then. Can I sell? I can't sell anything. Olive tree seedling? Oh, we got saffron, too. Interesting. Fuck you, Mare. I hate you. Making me do the most stupid shit in existence. Kitty! Like, I feel like in any sort of, like, helping profession, like, you kind of need to take notes on people. Like, we, we always take notes on our students, whether they realize it or not. Oh, I can't talk to you again. Including the fact that I am not benefiting anything from her meetings and would like to switch to another person. I've been asking it for over seven months, but... But nope, it hasn't been written anywhere. Oh, that's that's horrid. What the fuck? Oh, he fishing! Hey, Bruno. I'm gonna interrupt your fishing. I sure wish Vanessa would pick a different profession. I think it's making her not like kids so much. And I want grandchildren someday. I remember how much fun you and Hazel had when you were small. I can't help but hope to have that too. Oh, Bruno, he just wants to be a granddad. Oh, Bruno. Bruno has my whole heart. I love him. I love him so much. The fuck? I love him. Can I pick these yet? No. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Meeting her via Skype mostly, and she has been writing something, so I assume it's just somewhere I cannot access. It turns out it's nowhere, and I should be- should I actually be able to access it, too? Yeah, like, our students, like- So we take notes on every student interaction that we have, so that's how we prefer students to, like, make appointments with us so we can prep and everything. Um, so, like, when, every time a student comes and sees us, we take notes on the meeting and what transpired, right? Um, while remaining very factual, because we have to remain very factual, because students can access those records at any time. So they can request, if they wanted to see, like, all of our notes on a student and their file, they can request us for that. So, like, in your similar case, too, like, if a student wanted to see what we talked about in our meetings, they can request access to our notes um, on what we've written down from our meetings and whatnot. So that, that really sucks that you now don't have access to anything because this person has not written anything down. That's awful. I'm sorry. Um, hey, Kara. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Kara and Tara. Perfect. Perfect timing. <laughs> he really is the village granddad. He is. I love him. Hope you're doing well, Kara. We're playing some wildflowers. Right now, we're just biding time. Why are y'all... Where are y'all going? 
Oh, you're going to chill out here? Okay, where are you going? Let me talk to you. So, what's your favorite wave you have ever surfed? Brah, that's like asking me to pick my favorite child. Favorite child? You have children? But Pavones in Costa Rica is like the longest longboard wave. It just goes on forever. Pure bliss, man. They vibin', they do be vibin'. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey, have you tried Kim's Butcher Shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Also, Kim uses they, them, pro wait, Kim uses they, them pronouns. I forgot about this. Kim's a now they, Kai them friend. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. I forgot Kim was a they, them friend. They, them wifey. They, them wifey. Oh my God. So anyways, that is what led to the whole situation of me meeting a social worker, only now that my studies have actually come to an end, and I, in fact, have a rather tricky problem of how to financially manage the next year and a half or so. Oh, I'm sorry, Mew. I'm sure everything will work out in the way that it needs to work out, for your sake. Um, wait, are you, like, done done with school? Like, did you graduate? Turns out I've had been told I've, and given the chance to meet the social worker, say, 6 to 12 months ago. I would have been, brought, been able to keep studying. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sucks. What game is this? This is called Wildflowers. W-Y-L-D-E. Um, oh, Wildflowers. Never mind. No, you're good, Kara. You're good. All good here. Should I go to bed? All good. <sighs> Monday derps. Is it Monday? Well, it's telling me it's Monday on the screen. <laughs> All right. Morning. Brought you some firewood, Hazel. How kind of you, Thomas. Oh shit, we got wood. I'll just um go somewhere else. Lena told me you've been a bit under the weather. Tuesday, isn't it? Now, my time to complete my master's degree ran out, and I didn't ha get the documents needed for my back from a back then doctor who didn't know what accessibility meant. Oh, that. Oh, God. That's awful. I'm so sorry, Mew. Because when I retire, I want a television the size of a billboard. Adrian! The pirate. Here. For. Not two years, but 23 months. Appreciate you. <laughs> Adrian, thanks for the resub. It's so good to see you. I hope you've been well. We're just vibing. Nah. <laughs> it's okay, Mew. <laughs> we appreciate you. Mm, I have. But Tara's been doing a pretty good job taking care of the farm. Wouldn't you say? I suppose. You suppose- Thomas, you have very high standards. Hazel. I just wanted to say thank you. After my dad passed, you and Robert were there for us. I have never forgotten it. Oh God, is every single villager gonna come and say like their final goodbyes to to Hazel? Is that what's happening right now? I'm doing in existence. Oh, that that's a vibe. That's a mood. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it was the least we could do. Most things I picked up watching your dad in his garden. <laughs> he was right about most things when it came to farming. Hard as it was for me to admit. He was just so stern and impossible to please. Well, I'll be on my way. Okay, bye. Oh, man. Okay. It's Monday morning. What the fuck is open? Oh, wait, we got mail. Wait, we have mail? Natalia, I wanted to let you know that you now have access to all that lovely ore. I can upgrade your tools for you. Upgrading your axe will allow you to cut down trees with a be and a better pickaxe. We'll let you clear some of the larger rocks in your farm. Best Natalia. Oh, cool. 
Interesting. Oh, very cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're n we're gonna be cutting down large trees on the farm yet, or the rocks yet. I want to get some of the other stuff first. So that was why today's meeting with the social worker is so exhausting. There's a lot of issues to acknowledge and start getting sorted out. Well, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for taking the steps that you needed to take. And I look forward to see where things are gonna go for you, because... <laughs> You're remarkably talented with your photography. I'm not the best with social media, but I always admire seeing your photos, especially of Baboon being a, 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 an eldritch creature coming out of the water in the woods. <laughs> that brought me so much joy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go down on the beach. Yeah, we love you, Mew. We love you very much. Love this cat. The unfortunate little fact is that I'm afraid of men, though I can nowadays manage that quite well. And the social workers was in the mid 40s, guys, so I might need a few days to recover, but it's all moving forward, so that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm proud of you. And I, I totally understand being afraid of men. I, I get I it. I was supposed to go back home for my family's Lunar New Year dinner a few weeks ago. Appreciate you too, Mew. We send you handholds and hugs, whichever one you would like. My mom's side makes the whole thing out of everyone coming home. But I just, uh, I didn't want to deal with it this year. Kim, stop calling me out. Stop calling me out because this is how I felt about my family reunion last week. Stop it. I would appreciate if you did not call me out in that fashion. Please and thank you. Hi, Lena. Can I do some goodly biz with you, plus? Can I sell shit? What can I sell? I don't know, like... Diner open, the diner's closed. Okay, let's see what other food places are open. I always forget, like, there's different food places open. I just don't have to go to the one place. Oh, he's making bread! Ooh, baking something new, Angus? Yep, it's my little bro's favorite. I'm the middle child of three boys, so it was nonstop chaos growing up. <laughs> I love his freckles. But I could always get Jamie to calm down if I gave him one of these. Uh, you don't have any siblings, do you? That must have been a bit lonely growing up, no? Uh, not really. Not when I was little, because I spent my summers here and grew close to my grandma and grandpa. Well, of course. Having a grandma like Hazel must have been so much fun. Francis and I are both the middle child of three child families. Maybe that's why we're perfect for each other. We're used to being the overlooked cheese in the sandwich. <laughs> oh, we love cheese on sandwiches, though. Uh, I hope Francis is able to find a place for himself here and that everyone sees just how special he truly is. Oh, we're acquaintances now. Wait, throw, I wanted to buy shit from you. Hold on. Wait, let's see, what can I buy? 
Can I sell? Can I sell them anything? No. Uh. Yeah, get me some hot cross buns and some breb. Thank you. Wait, what can I sell to you? Ooh, I could sell back the iron ingots. Hot cross buns, eh, Susie? <sighs> Susie. God damn it, Susie. I hate you, Susie. <laughs> I'm gonna go burn my cartridge of Zelda now. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Julie, for the water, Redeem. Appreciate you. <laughs> Four spooky, five me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna actually oof, relax this down a little bit, Jesus. You betrayed the three. The three did not betray you. Susie. Oh, wait. I need to cook some shit. Hold on. Let me bake some shit here. Oh god. I feel like this weird pain in my chest. Like, I don't know if it's like anxiety pain, but like, I feel it like right in here in my sternum. It feels weird. it feels like anxiety like I don't know why Yolf what the fuck is that what in the wing dings hell are you putting in my twitch chat <laughs> perhaps tomorrow I don't think so it shouldn't be I don't think <laughs> Damn, I was hoping to find keys on the first try. Nine. Audio, what are you trying to doing? Knock through the wall. What's up? What are you trying to do in my Twitch chat right now? Oh, speaking of, we should probably take a five minute break. What are you trying to do? I don't appreciate when people try to italicize their messages. <laughs> oh god, we have no energy. Oh, so we don't pass out. Dragon Alpha, appreciate it. Thank you for the check-in. The first one with the slash and removed it and it didn't post on my screen but made it to the chat somehow. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to take our five-minute break here because Gray needs to stand up and stretch a little bit, hopefully to relieve some of this tension in my chest that I'm feeling. I don't know why I'm feeling it. Uh, but don't forget to do your own self-care thing. So whether that be grab some water, grab a snack, uh, stand up and stretch as well, go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do. Um, we'll hopefully be continuing after the break, unless if I deem that uh, chest hurts, chest hurty so much um, to keep going. But hopefully we'll be. So I'll see you all in five minutes. Susie! <laughs> Susie, you're funny. You're funny, Susie. <laughs> well, hello. Welcome back. I, I still feel this, like, anxiety pain in my chest. I don't know what is wrong. 
I don't mean to, I'm going to try to crack my back. Magnolia, thank you for the check-in. Appreciate you. Yeah, I don't... <gasps> Derp, I love you. Hello, friend. Appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know what to do about this anxiety in my chest right now. I, I don't know what to... Depper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's like down my sternum. So like the center of your ridge cage is like all the way down my sternum. Like I don't know what this pain is. It feels really weird. And it's like kind of radiating to my backside a little bit. And I don't know like what is causing it right now. <laughs> Derp, you're so sweet. <laughs> we love everyone platonically here. We appreciate everybody. We also appreciate our lurkers as well. Thank you, thank you for just hanging out. Do you get heartburn often? I don't know what heartburn is or what it feels like. Well, I all the time and that's where I feel it. I, I don't know what it, like, what it feels like and what causes it. I know nothing. <laughs> By the way, I'm baby. <laughs> I'm so baby. <laughs> I, I I don't even know what causes heartburn, honestly. I, I don't know. <laughs> are are we gonna do like a a a, a, sh a sh it feels like throwing up a little bit of stomach acid. No, I feel like nothing like that. It doesn't feel like nauseous or nauseating. It's just, like, it's, like, anxiety chest pain, but, like, without the anxiety, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> to put it that way. Um, but, so, I don't know what's causing it. Does it feel like a black hole in your chest? I don't know what that feels like. I, I don't, I don't know. I, eh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What was embargo fish sticks. I don't even know what that means. Does it feel like the smell of TV static? The smell. What? Y'all gotta be trolling with me now, aren't you? <laughs> Heartburn is when stomach acid goes up your throat. I know my dad has it. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I had that. My heartburn just feels like a pain that comes and goes around my sternum. No nausea. It can be a little burning. It doesn't feel like burning at all. It just feels like an achy pain. It feels like an achy pain. Like, not that I can't breathe, but, like, I feel like I have to breathe a little deeper. I don't know. I just work here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I mean, we might be... <laughs> We appreciate you. Um, we'll go a little longer. For me, the anxiety in my chest feels like a massive weight and a black hole is there. No. I don't even know what this- I don't even know what this is. Are you gonna check out my cauliflower boots? Ooh, those sound good. Have a good lurk, Jesse. Appreciate you. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I think I was feeling like this way like a week or two ago. I get that with asthma. My allergies and asthma have been awful. I feel like I always have to take a deep breath and it radiates to my back. I'm a hot mess of a person. I mean, I low-key think I have asthma, but, like, I've never been tested for it because also, like, that shit's expensive. Um, because I don't think my insurance will cover, like, getting tested. Because y'all remember when I got my blood taken to test if I had PCOS? Remember this? Remember this testing? And they charged me $8 to stick a needle in my body. Do we remember this? Do we recall this? Do we recall the ha American healthcare system being a hot fucking garbage mess? So, like, I don't know how I- Like, I really do want to get tested for, like, um- Eight dollars? Yes, eight whole dollars. <laughs> so, a Twitch subscription and a half, Dragon. That's how much it charged to just put the needle in. Not even for the testing itself. The testing itself was another payment that I had to make. And I have heard a word or two about that. 
Yeah, that, I think I had to pay like 200 something out of pocket. The insurance covered the rest of it to get my, to do the testing, testing of it, to do the lab stuff, smuggling you over here for free healthcare. Okay, so when I come visit you next year, I am going to get tested for, for, not ADHD, for asthma. <laughs> Is that what we're suggesting right now? <laughs> yeah, I, I've always thought I had asthma. But, like, I never got tested for it. I was tempted to get tested back when I was, like, 19. But, like, I did not have the money to, like, do it behind my mom's back. Not like I was going behind my mom's back because, like, I was seeing, like, a doctor, her doctor. Um, but, like, I was over 18, so, like, my mom didn't need to be with me for that. Um, uh, but, like, I didn't want to do it if it was going to show up on her insurance. But I didn't have the money pay for it myself um because i was a broke college student um sure we need to sign you up and you may still need the health insurance by may and try and convince him you're my sibling <laughs> we're twins i'm your american twin there we go perfect did you study i definitely did not study because my brain don't do the study things that would suck if you spent all that time studying and then didn't take the test. <laughs> no, I don't study, derp. I probably have ADHD. We don't study. Studying just makes us feel worse. I, my mom made me study for a test back in, like, the, the fourth grade. It was about the literal water cycle. And I got a D on it because she made me study for it and made it, like, such a big deal. It's like, mother... This did not help with anything. This just made me worse. I'm all out of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength. Or try again tomorrow. Okay, shush. I got food for you. Just eat, eat, eat the hot cross buns. It's crazy that you have to pay for little things like a needle. Yeah, it's... It's kind of ridiculous. Our healthcare system fucking sucks. So does our education system. And I know I work in the education system, but it does suck. Have to finish some chores before I lose motivation. Yes, go do those chores. Go do those chores. I believe so much in you, Magnolia. Have fun lurking, doing those chores. Chat is so- is too cute. Chat is bae. We love chat. And hopefully chat loves me. Hags! Move to Canada. Oh, everything is ten times better. Listen. Listen. I have no friends there. It's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Okay, now I'm going. <laughs> love you, Mags. Yeah, chat is bae. We love chat. I'll be your friend there. Hey, this looks like a Yay, we example. found the key! Yay, we found the key. Yay, we found the key. Wife lever wife lever's gray to the UK. And I'll do my Reaper ult as I pass over. What was that in the sky? Is a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a reaper doing his die, die, die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we have to fuck around with that in Overwatch sometime. Catapulting people while they're doing their ults. We have to. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. I've always wanted to visit Canada, actually. I actually technically did visit Canada. Um, uh, my grandmother wrote a story about it. A story that I would- I would love to read for you all one day. Um. It's like a 15-page story that she wrote and published. The- I- I cannot wait to try the life of Narisa ult combo. Yes! That's gonna be so much fun. I think, like, any moving ult is gonna be so much fun. Imagine, like- you move an ulting torb and then it just like molten core rains down from the heavens. <laughs> okay, I think what we're gonna do. I'm gonna finish out this day. Maybe start the next day. And then probably call it there. Cause like. 
it's just hurting and I don't know what to do about it. Cause like I feel like I want to stream, but like my my chest is like nothing. No, you're not going to. And it's like, bro, why? Why you gotta be like this? I don't appreciate it. Willie Fear snatched me out of my ult against Mr. Purple tonight. I just said seriously in chat, and I said I should. I said I should have done that. Oh, oh, and may maybe also consider that maybe. What happened um, was that you stepped in line of who they were actually gonna grab, and they grabbed you instead. Because that's what happens when like you're you you fire ult as Anna, and then you accidentally like fire in front of as someone else steps in in front, and then it ends up being someone else instead who gets the ult, the boost. Um, so maybe that happened. I don't know. I wasn't there. Resting is probably the best option. Yeah, but resting probably means I'm gonna take off my bra, put on, like, a comfy hoodie, and play Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> just take care of yourself. I will, Mew. Just as you all should as well. That's why we have self-care breaks and whatnot. Definitely ulted a random other healer many times by mistake. At least they know they messed up. <laughs> True, true. I can see the appeal of being a troll on Life Weaver when you're with friends, though. Nah, no, I mean. Oh yeah, that 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 makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I figured what I figured what you were saying. Yeah. You're powered up. Get in there. Oh, Anna, the grandmother. Knock it off, children. Whatever. What is what's the line she says? Quiet down now, children. Or she's 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 funny. I love Anna. She's great. Time for bed. We're gonna start the next day. I wonder if grandma's gonna die. Children, behave. <laughs> mm. Who is that outside, dear? Um. <laughs> I hate this image. I know this is technically a cutscene, so it doesn't have- it's, it isn't supposed to pause in between. But this is just hysterical that it's just like this one-eyed demon lady, wife of the mayor, pose outside. <laughs> this is so- this is funny. It's Vanessa? She was standing there, menacingly. <laughs> I don't have the energy for her. Tell her I'm asleep. Valid. Valid, bestie. Good morning, Tara. I just wanted to bring some cupcakes for your grandmother. She's fainting. She's pretending to be asleep. Oh, wait. Is that She's just the asleep, eyes looking? No. But I'll take them. Wonderful. I made them myself. I'm not the best baker, but I tried. They look delicious. Oh, these look delicious, Vanessa. Thank you. You're welcome. I would have bought cupcakes from Angus, but I wanted to show that I really do care. By the way, I'm not just here because I'm the mayor's wife. When I was in high school, my best friend got sick. Also cancer. Oh, so she has cancer. I supported her as much as I could, but it wears on you being a caretaker. Did your friend recover? Her name was Amy, and she didn't know. I am so sorry. It's all right. It was a long time ago. In any case, I'm here if you want to talk. And now I'll be going. I don't want to wear out my welcome. I I hate that she has like this huh, this perma eyebrow that's like permanently up like this. I hate that. I hate it. It just screams evil bad lady. Well, we Grandma, got cupcakes. Did you hear that? What? Uh, I was just resting my eyes. Oh, so she actually did go to sleep. Good for her. Being caretaker does wear on you. Yeah, I yeah, yeah for sure. Stomach cannot handle chocolate, but I kind of want a chocolate muffin now. Yeah, 
I wish I could trade with you so I didn't have to eat chocolate. I was gonna say something about the Perma Dreamworks eyebrow expression. <laughs> It's a dizzy villain eyebrow. Chocolate muffins do sound good. They do. They do. And you said it was only pretend. I'll leave you be. Oh, fuck. I haven't had chocolate muffins so long. All right, chat. We're going to go get some chocolate muffins. And Susie, I'll get you like a... Would you like some cornbread? I can get you cornbread. Cornbread's really good. Oh, yeah. It's about this. It's just a broom. It's a witch's broom. Girl. Oh, our cauliflower's ready! Yay! What seeds can we plant? Let's get some wheat. Plant some eight. All right, so that needs more time. Okay, cool. Okay, who is the person? I don't even know where the fuck Violet is. I don't know her. I don't know where she is. Violet does what? Tuesday through Saturday, nine to five. Oh! So she should be at her shop then, right? Right. I place a monthly order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. Yeah, she has a perma-raised eyebrow. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Oh, God, yeah. Bad time? Ugh. No. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor... The fairy always ran on time. Hey, do you have any wildflowers growing on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of? How do you feel about thistles? You're suggesting I make a bouquet out of thistles? Thistles? Oh, look, if you don't want them, did you hear me say no? The sooner I can get Vanessa out of my hair, the better. Oh, I have- I could do this. I could do all the things for you right now. Yeah, we can give you some weed. Do you want some weed? So, anything I can put in my bouquets? Stress no more. I found just the thing. See how nice flowers See? in that shop? Oh, yes. Those will do nicely. <sighs> it's hard sometimes. Filling all these orders to decorate the house I grew up in. Mm. Whoa, does the mansion go with the job? Yep. Anyway, thanks. You saved my butt. Ma'am, I see uh, Mary's eyes are all on those roses for Ryland. Yes! Oh, well, for giving thistles to that lady, yeah. Hey, Oz, welcome, welcome. I'm not going to be streaming for too long because my chest is really hurting. Um, but I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, we got flowers! Oh, nice. All right, let's give you the... This is solid. Cauliflower. Thanks. Cool. Yay. Let me look here. Sure, I'll take this. All right. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna save and exit. Yeah, my chest is really hurting, so I would prefer just, like, to chill. <laughs> but I do appreciate hanging out and just, just chilling and hanging out with me. Um, 
as a reminder, the upcoming schedule, um, Wednesday we'll be starting the Resident Evil 4 remake. Um, definitely for the plot and not for Leon. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Thursday we're going to be doing the finale of As Dusk Falls, uh, remastered. So, like, uh, doing all the reverse decisions that we made from the first time. Um, Sunday, uh, we will be playing Hades hopefully if not maybe tears of the kingdom depends on uh what i actually get to grind this week and then monday we'll be starting uh candleman um we might come back to wildflowers maybe we'll do that on sunday if i don't get time for hades hades might end up taking a back burner for a little bit um depending on um how i just you know do the things um but i appreciate you all hanging out with me yes rylor for the plot most definitely um, we are gonna go give some love to Brendan, um, Darkest Devil 26. We're gonna go give him some love, because I know he was in stream yesterday, and I really did appreciate him being here, and y'all gave him some, some, like, wonderful, like, good vibes, and I know he appreciated it so very much. Um, uh, but he is playing some Xenoblade Th Chronicles 3, so I know Susie, I hear you screaming, and I appreciate you screaming. Um, so we're gonna come, we're gonna go chill with him. He's a wonderful streamer. If you have not had the pleasure of meeting him on Twitch in terms of, uh, on the streaming side of things, but he's absolutely wonderful. I enjoy his company very, very much. And he's such a cool dude. Um, but I appreciate you all hanging out with me. I know this is a shorter stream, um, but I'm like, I don't know if I can continue with like, this aching feeling in my chest. So I think I just need to go take it easy for a little bit. Um, this is when y'all keep me accountable to keep myself <laughs> self-care wise. Cause I tell y'all to, uh, help do your self-care and y'all are telling me to do my self-care. So I appreciate it. Um, so we'll be back on Wednesday to start Resident Evil 4 and I'm very, very excited too. Um, but I appreciate you all hanging out with me. Um, thank you for the stream. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I appreciate you all very much. I, I love spending my time with you and playing games with you. Um, cause I'm sure like a lot of these games I never would have played if it weren't for y'all. Um, and like just getting, being, doing the gamer things. So we are going to go raid on over to Brendan. Be sure to use the raid message. Um, if you love, if you like what he's up to on his channel, feel free to drop a follow and just give him the hype. Just give him the hype. Um, I have no idea what he's doing in Xenoblade. So feel free to ask him when we get there. Um, so I appreciate you all very much. I will see you all on Wednesday for Resident Evil 4, the beginning. My name is Aaron Gray, Queer Rise Twitch Streamer, signing off.